Welcome to another episode of Quest. First, a look at the highlights. Tata Consultancy Services Team visits Kashmir University. Directorate of Distance Education organizes Course Representatives Meet and an obituary on noted historian Professor Muhammad Ishaq Khan. Now the details of these events with your host Amrina. A two-member team of Tata Consultancy Services visited University of Kashmir for the launch of its second recruitment drive under Udan project. In that connection, Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed called a press conference in which he laid out the program of Udan project. Director Centre for Career Planning and Counselling Professor Shabir Ahmed Bhatt coordinated the visit of TCS. At the press conference, the Vice Chancellor was flanked by Vice President and Global Head of TCS, Professor Ranjan Bando Upadhyay, and Associate Vice President of TCS, Mr. Monimoy Dasgupta. Speaking at the press conference, Professor Talat said that TCS had so far inducted 100 students in its first phase, all of whom are content with their placements. So this time, they aim at about 200 uh, people to be taken, even more than that if it is possible, we, we will see. And the uh, most important thing uh, that they have come with, which is very exciting for all of us, is that it is not that they want to have some very uh, specialized MBA or engineers or something. Any graduate, whether it is from science or arts or social science, anybody who is good and uh, uh, whom they feel that they are interested and uh, they will take the job seriously will be given chance. He said, for the implementation of such programs, university will collaborate with state information centers. We are going to join hands uh, with the state government. Uh, the, na uh, the state information centers are there uh, in each district. And then we are going to have the principals of the colleges from each district, they will be, uh, we will make a sort of net in which all the information about the industries like TCS, we, we, we have now a big queue of the industries who are coming uh, during April and May uh, to the state. And uh, they will be going, it's not only Srinagar, but they will be going to different parts of the valley and take the children from there. Professor Talat said that curriculum in almost all universities is not suited for corporate houses. All over the country, the uh, curriculum are not uh, so much suited for the industry. So I have, I have been talking about this, uh, even recently I was talking about this in Islamia College. So we are joining hand with them to even make some changes in our syllabus so that it becomes more industry oriented at the same time keep the academics also in mind so that there is no dilution. Vice President and Global Head of TCS, Mr. Ranjan Banda Upadhyay, said that his company is focusing on increasing the employability of Kashmiri youth in the corporate sector. The approach has been that uh, the people selected, uh, they come to our center, uh, we completely take care of them from uh, their accommodation to food and everything else uh, for up to 16 weeks 
where we uh, make them industry ready. We also uh, introduce them to different kind of culture. Uh, we call it, you know, from campus to corporate. Associate Vice President of TCS, Mr. Monimoy Dasgupta, said that his company will travel throughout Kashmir to select graduate candidates for corporate houses. Second edition of uh, Udan. And for that, uh, our mobilization team would be uh, traveling across length and breadth of uh, Jammu and Kashmir to select the trainees, for which I make an appeal to all the graduate youth of Jammu and Kashmir to be a part of this program, which is uh, supported by the National Skill Development Corporation on the basis of the MOU, which uh, our global head HR Ranjun mentioned, as well as uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs. And needless to say that we have the full support and unstinted support of the University of Kashmir. Later, the Tata Consultancy Service members and Vice Chancellor Professor Tarat Ahmed held a detailed discussion with the Director, Center for Career Planning and Counseling, Professor Shabir, in EMMRC studio. Here are the snippets of the discussion. There are more than 400,000 unemployed youth in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. It is a major crisis that needs to be addressed and we are all collectively responsible to create new and better opportunities for the young generation. Various initiatives have been taken both at the state and the center level. Major initiatives, Udan, Himayat, and youth entrepreneurship in the state of Jammu and Kashmir to create opportunities within and outside the state. So enhancing employability has been flagged off as a focus area by the state government, and equally it's a major concern for the University of Kashmir. Kashmir University we have taken a lot of initiatives in uh, the long term for the long term. Rather three words, employability, education and employment. But, so if I take education as our first thing, is the curriculum, just like our VC sir said, is it relevant to the industry? If it's not relevant, then the second cause comes of employability. Because what you study, you don't get job with what you study. And if you don't get a job after studying, then what is the use of education? Project Udan ka jo pehla jo hamara wo tha, wo humne Kalkatta mein pichle saal khatam kiya. Aur hamara is bar ane ka ek maksad jo hai yaha, aapke is sundar, bhoati sundar Jammu and Kashmir mein, wo hai ki Udan ka jo second edition hai, yeh usko shuru karna, usko aage badhana aur uska jo scale hai, uske scale ko bhi badhana. We should have very well trained uh, teachers. Wonderful. Okay. One thing that uh, Ranjan has told, it is very good of offer and I'll definitely take it very Jee, seriously that our teachers should visit industry and see what is happening there. At the same time, the academics in the university from the day I have joined, since I come from research background, I want, I know that you cannot be a good teacher until unless you do research. The full discussion will be telecast shortly from Durdarshan. <music> Directorate of Distance Education in collaboration with Center for Career Planning and Counseling organized a one-day course representatives meet. The program was held for the enrolled students of various courses who are pursuing their education from distance mode. Director, Directorate of Distance Education, Professor Nilo Khan, in her inaugural remarks, said that DDE is running 20 courses for distance learners. For the information of the gathering over here, and the, especially for the guests who are from outside, we have here nearly about 20 courses in the Directorate. We have few of the courses with regards to post-graduation. Few are the training courses. And then we have the PG diploma courses, then few programs we have the certificate courses. We have nearly about 20,000 students on roll for all the courses and all the programs which we have. 
here in the Directorate of Distance Education. We have made innovations in providing them various facilities as we do go for the formal system uh, students. Director, Center for Career Planning and Counseling, Professor Shabir Ahmed Bhatt said that jobs can be found anywhere. What one needs is requisite skill for it. Trust me that there is no question and issue of an employment. Jobs are there everywhere in, every, in any part of the country, but what is important, you know, is that do we have the competence, do we have the capacity, do we have the skill, you know, to be able to, to get employed. And for that, Honorable Vice Chancellor, under his dynamic leadership, number of initiatives have been, are being taken and have been taken and he's, as I said, personally monitoring this 24-7. You won't believe it. Sometimes I get a call from him 11 in the night and 8 in the morning to see the progress of what we are doing in order to create a better future for all of you. Professor Shabi told course representatives that once a person acquires skill, he can settle anywhere and become a source for generating jobs. The question is to provide the right kind of the training and the sickle sets which are required in order to create a kind of an environment so that you will be able, you know, to move to different parts of the country. You will be able to get absorbed. And not only outside the Kashmir, I, I, I believe that Kashmir, the state of Jammu and Kashmir has enormous potential. It is gifted with huge potential. And if you have the sickle, if you have the leadership, if you have the competence, why can't we generate jobs within the state and outside the state. I am sure the day will come, instead of going out, we will be able to generate jobs for the people who are coming from outside and not to speak of going out. But again, we have to work for that. We have to train our people. In his presidential address, Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed said that lots of companies are waiting to recruit Kashmiri students, but for that, students have to move out. Only thing is, you have to be ready to take opportunity, go to other parts of the country, get experience, and then also impress your employers. And then convince them that now Kashmir is going to be quiet and it will be a nice place to work. So let us develop this state by bringing their industries here. Okay. So that you have to be our ambassador outside Kashmir in different parts of the country. We are going to have lots of such opportunities for you. Please take all the information from Professor Shabir because there are lots of companies lined up. Professor Talat advised students to explore avenues across the globe and take advantage about various initiatives being taken by the university for generating employment opportunities. Representatives of iYogi company Mr. Naweed Ahmed and Ms. Manshu Singh also spoke on the occasion. Engineering and medicine is not just the only field where you can go. You have the universe is right in front of you. Basis, whatever skill set that you have, if you empower yourselves and, and flourish your skill set, you can always lead to the next level. I think our biggest challenge is to hire enough people that we can. We have enough opportunity. We just are not able to hire enough people in, um, in the area that we are present in the NCR. IOV's Human Resource Development Framework includes a clearly defined career path for employees, creating a great work culture, efficient, motivated workforce. As you've seen, most of us have been in the company for a very, very long time. Noted historian Professor Muhammad Ishaq Khan passed away last Friday. He was 67 years old. Professor Khan joined Kashmir University in 1970 and served the university in various capacities that included Dean of Academic Affairs, Dean of Social Sciences, heads of various departments. After his retirement in 2005, Professor Khan became the director of the then Center for Kashmir Studies and chairman of Sheikh Ul Alam Chair. Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed, while paying tributes to him, said that Professor Khan's loss is irreparable. उनका एक बहुत बड़ा कंट्रीब्यूशन है यूनिवर्सिटी के लिहाज से एकेडमिक्स के लिहाज से और इस वैली के हिस्ट्री के बारे में कल्चर के बारे में उनकी बहुत पकड़ थी सो वी हैव लॉस्ट अ ग्रेट एकेडमिक पर्सन और हम लोगों की दुआ होगी कि 
ان کو جنت الفردوس میں جگہ ملے ہی واز اے گریٹ ٹیچر اینڈ اسکالر بیکاز انہوں نے بہت کنٹریبیوشن کیا ہے سو ادرس شوڈ ٹیک لیڈ فرام ہز ورک اینڈ کنٹینیو آن دیز لائنس اور ڈیفینیٹلی وی ول آلویز ریمبر ہز کنٹریبیوشن اینڈ ویلیو ول بی دیئر فار ہز ورک ان فیوچر Professor Khan was also the director of EMMRC for more than five years. Professor Khan is known as a historian, but I know Professor Khan as he was director of EMMRC for more than five years. I found him a very honest, upright and intelligent person. One will always love to be in his company and discuss for hours together. Sufism, Rishism, Kashmiriyat and issues concerning the human society. During those years, Professor Khan actively contributed in different films made by EMMRC. He wrote scripts for various films that included award-winning films as well. He used to give not only creative inputs with regard to films but historical background as well. A devout Sufi Professor Khan was a prolific writer and had written a number of books and research papers. Kashmir's transition to Islam, the role of Muslim rishis, has been described as a seminal book. Professor Khan had achieved worldwide fame for his works in history. You know that Professor Muhammad Ishaq Khan was a great historian and in Kashmir, بہت ہی کم ایسے گریٹ اسکالر پیدا کی وٹ ایور آئی ایم ٹوڈے آئی او اے لاٹ ٹو ہم بیکاز آف ہز ریسرچ پوٹینشیل اکیڈمک ایکسلنس اینڈ دا ریکارڈ دیٹ ہی ہیڈ سیٹ اکراس دا ورلڈ ان ہز کیپیسٹی ایز اے نون ہسٹورین اے رائٹر اینڈ اے اسکالر ہیز آلویز امپرسڈ می بسائڈس رائٹنگ بکس اینڈ ریسرچ پیپرس Professor Khan also wrote for newspapers and news magazines. University of Kashmir in general, and EMMRC in particular, condoled the demise of the noted historian. Ishaq Sahib has been given to him. Allah has given him a place in the world of the world. And he has given him a family to bear his loss. He has given him all the strength of his life and the strength of his life. یہ ایک ار ریپیریبل لاس ہے ٹو دا ورلڈ آف اکیڈمکس ان جنرل اینڈ ٹو کشمیر ان پرٹیکولر اٹ از ناٹ لاس اونلی ٹو ہز فیملی اٹ از لاس ٹو آل آف اس دا ڈیتھ آف پروفیسر خان ہیز ڈیفینیٹلی کریٹیڈ اے ویکیوم ان کشمیر بیکاز ہی واز این اتھارٹی آن دا سبجیکٹ آف کشمیر ہسٹری ہی واز مور انٹرسٹ ان کنٹمپریری ہسٹری اینڈ ہی روٹ آن ایشوز وچ کنسرن the contemporary Kashmir. Professor Khan will be remembered for his scholarship and for his contribution to Kashmir and Kashmir history. That is all for today's program. Log on to our website emmrckashmir.com to watch the latest episode of Quest. Mail us your suggestions at quest at emmrckashmir.com. Before I take your leave, here are a few words of wisdom. You can lean over backwards so far that it fall flat on your face. Good night.